What is up YouTube and welcome to this run ending explained and spoiler review video. Run is a very interesting take on the topic of Munchausen's by proxy where a caregiver makes up illnesses in the person they look after to assert control. It stars Sarah Paulson who is as always just brilliant in the role of the evil mother and while I called the Munchausen's twist in the first 10 minutes of the movie seeing the twist unravel and the final turn was very very intriguing. The movie opens with Sarah Paulson's character as Diane, a mother who has just given birth to a seemingly premature baby. In a particularly harrowing moment, the child is trying to be resuscitated and then is in an incubator, but we don't see what happens after. At the end of the movie, we learn the baby did actually die, and Diane goes to steal another baby to raise as her own, which is her daughter in this movie. We flash to modern day as we see Diane at a homeschool meeting saying how no colleges have responded to a child's application, which to be honest, this scene seemed a bit superfluous and it would have made a lot more impact if we go from the harrowing scene of her just after a child has been born straight into the scenes of Chloe actually waking up. We learn that she is disabled and really has a lot of ailments and such as diabetes and requires daily physio for her legs. She's also given a cocktail of drugs by her mother for her various ailments and she's allowed one sweet as well due to her blood sugar. And we presume at the moment everything is okay and it is all above board. But Chloe is adamant that she wants to attend Washington College and is eagerly expecting her mail and an acceptance letter every day because she seems like a smart cookie and has some real big experiments in her room. But her mother gets the mail every single day, hinting at the fact that her mother kept her acceptance letter, which is what we saw at the end of the movie. She even at one point had her engine on and her car doors open just to intercept the mail fast so Chloe doesn't realise that she has been accepted to college. One day her mother does come home while Chloe is studying and she rushes in to sneak some sweets which is probably causing the fluctuations in her blood sugar but she doesn't seem to have any issues with this other than the little blood sugar reading say high or low and it could be that her mother has exaggerated her symptoms just like she's been trying to make her more ill as time goes by. She also finds a new pot of pills that has been prescribed to her mother. However, soon she is actually given this pot and it's interesting because Chloe mentions that, well, she thought they were for her, but well, later she tries to get the pills and see what they are but it has actually been relabeled and it says her name on it. And it's a very interesting one as she starts to stash them and goes out to find exactly what they are as she is incredibly suspicious. She heads down to the computer to learn what the pill is, but well, the Wi-Fi is down and well, on the surface, yeah, the Wi-Fi might be down, but her mother is in the kitchen behind her in a very creepy blink and you'll miss it moment and it's a hint there that the mother knows everything about the daughter and there are some very scary secrets hidden her mum pretends the next morning to try and get the wi-fi fixed but it won't be fixed for another month as chloe becomes increasingly desperate to find out what the pill is and attempts to call the pharmacy only to be recognized but then calls a random number and asks them to google what the pill is i thought this moment was really weird and sort of let the movie down there as you had to suspend disbelief that this person would actually go you know what i'm gonna just google this thing for you it's absolutely bizarre as opposed to her saying well i'm in danger which she probably really would have said but it turns out that she's been taking a different pill and the one which is on the label should be red. They then decide to go and see a movie in town and Chloe sees this as an opportunity and sneaks out of the cinema to go to the pharmacy to find out what the pill she has been taking. Now it's a very tense scene and I really did like this and she learns that the pill was actually for dogs and animals and is actually a muscle relaxant. Now if this is ingested by humans, this can cause paralysis as her mother comes in 
And, well, Chloe does have an absolute panic attack. And he does hint that her mother has been feeding her pills to make her have no mobility. As we found out later in the movie, she was able to walk as a young child. Now, that is a very, very creepy. Now, at home, her mother is desperate to get the pharmacist and even the doctor to tell Chloe that it is safe to take those pills to no avail. And it seems her web of lies are just getting too far for her to cover. Now, Chloe is actually locked in her room, but manages to reach another room by going through the ceiling. But it turns out that the phone lines have been cut. And, well, she actually runs out of the house and goes down the stairs. But what happens is she's actually able to move her body just a little bit. And what happens is that she intercepts the mailman and explains what happens. Well, he kind of believes her and says that he'll take her to the police station or the hospital, only for the mother to arrive and stab the mailman with a syringe and take them back to the house. Now, Chloe is chained to the basement, and this is where it all unravels. She finds her acceptance letter that has been stashed along with many other letters. She also finds a death certificate for Chloe, Diana's original birth daughter, and photos of her walking as a child, and we learn she was kidnapped and never found by her real parents. Diane tries to inject her with paint thinner as Chloe has escaped and manages to take some household substances as she says that, well, you need me, and yes, she does, because when we get to the hospital, it's hinted that Chloe has had multiple different doctors, and it seems that, well, as time goes by, they start to maybe get close to finding out who she really is. And she's now on suicide watch, but Chloe tries to communicate what happened to a nurse, only for a blue alert to go off, and Diana manages to sneak in and take her daughter away, only to be shot by security. Now, I really did like this, and the twist really was cool. And even if I did call half of it, I thought it was neat nonetheless. But we pick up seven years later, and Chloe visits Diane in jail, and Chloe appears to be doing very well for herself. She says how her family are doing well, and feeds Diane some pills, the same ones that cause paralysis. Now, I really did enjoy this movie, as it was tense, and the young actress who plays the daughter was great, and Sarah Paulson playing the creepy, controlling mother was done with minimal acting, which I think really is needed in a movie like this. But nonetheless, it is well worth checking out on Hulu, and I'm not really sure where you find it in the UK, and that is that. But I will be having a video on his Dark Materials tomorrow, and there will be another Crown video as well. But that is it. Please do drop a like down below. Please do subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.